Shimika, and today I wanted to talk about how it feels to be back in Los Angeles, my hometown, after traveling through Southeast Asia, Thailand, for about a year and three months. I'll be going back to Thailand shortly, but I wanted to discuss this because I've heard people who who've traveled for longer period of times who finally visit home for the first time or even a second or a third time stories and I've actually read a lot of articles about it and it, it all sounds like the same experience or very similar and so I was wondering if I would feel the same way and I feel exactly the same way everyone else is saying which is basically like you feel like you've changed so much and you have so much to say and then you come back home and you visit and after the excitement of you coming home dies down it's like now what? Like nothing's changed at home, everything's the same, and you kind of feel stuck, a little bit claustrophobic, and you kind of want to crawl your way back to where you, back to where you were traveling from. Um, so I feel the same way. But my thoughts and feelings on coming back home and visiting after a year or so of traveling, I have really mixed feelings. And this video is kind of like me just getting it out and talking about it, like. On one hand, I'm really excited to see LA again because I love this city, I love this town. I'm really excited to see my friends again, sit down, catch up with them, have good times. Like, like time has never passed and I, I, I never left. Um, I love my friends and I've had some good times, some good laughs with them since I've been back. Um, and it's been really good to like kind of sit and like relax and sort of work and sort of save money so when I go back to Chiang Mai I have some savings that's been good also but on the other hand like I I'm ready to go like I'm ready to get out of here but then I also have this weird anxiety about leaving again so I'm ready to go but I have this anxiety about leaving so yeah before I like left for Thailand before I got offered a trip here um, no when I got offered a trip here I was really hesitant to actually take the offer because a lot of fears that people have who've been traveling for an extended period of time is going home and the fear is it's getting stuck there. You just have this, even if this is like a stupid fear that has no value, no weight or no facts to it, but you have this fear that something's gonna happen and you're gonna get stuck there. And that's like everyone's worst fear. Even people who've gone home one, two, three times, the third time they still have this anxiety that are gonna get stuck there. So I was scared of that. But I was also feeling like, is this something I really want? Do, am I ready to go home yet? Like if this is, if this, if this, I felt like maybe I, I don't know, like I was, I was being rushed into visiting home. Even though it has been over a year, I still felt that way. But I said to myself, it'd be really, really good to see my friends and it'd be good to save money. So I went. And now that I'm here, I do feel like, I feel weird. I, it is that whole, like, again, like you get here and everyone's excited to hear from me first and everyone wants to know what happened and how was Thailand. But honestly, when people want you to tell you your travel stories, they want you to tell it in this nice little package bow present. They don't really want you to long-winded. They just want you to like, you know, shorten it down to a few good sentences and then move on. Because if you keep talking about your trip to Thailand, you're gonna sound like you're bragging and everyone is gonna get sick of hearing about your trip across Southeast Asia. Like I remember, I would, cause when you're talking to people, you talk about your life. And at the moment, my life was Thailand and even all the people that I met in Thailand. So I would say, oh my God, this girl I met in so-and-so and this time I went to Thailand and oh, Thailand does this. And like literally my friend was like, oh my gosh, okay, we got it, Thailand. If I hear one more thing about Thailand, I'm going to freak out. Like I don't want to see any more pictures. I don't want to hear any more stories. And so you're expected to sort of like tell them or describe in just a few words of this amazing experience you had and it's impossible to do that and so you end up like spilling out these really mundane words like it was amazing and it was breathtaking it was unbelievable and like that really doesn't do any of it justice so you actually just become frustrated because you can't really say how you feel and because 
I I know and I know other people like they get home and they want to say so much and they almost want to like teach everybody all the stuff that they learned and then you just come off sounding like a wise ass or one of those like hippy dippy bohemians they want to teach people how to meditate or do yoga or eat healthy you, you sound like a nut so no one, no one wants to hear it like because You've been gone for the year and a half and that's changed for you, but for them it's just been the same old, same old. So, so that becomes really frustrating. You feel stuck. You kind of feel like a little bit alone because you want to be like, hey, you remember that one time or this one time? And like no one cares. And you just you kind of start to feel kind of alone, like lonely. Like no one can relate to you anymore. Like you, these are still your friends and you still love them to death and you still have loads in common, but there's something changed inside you and no one else can relate and if you try to explain it you just come off like a fucking douche like you come off like a know-it-all like who the fuck do you think you are you're not changed you didn't nothing changed about you and so that becomes really frustrating and it becomes, becomes lonely <clears throat> i know i said that before um somebody commented once on my video that i repeat myself a lot so sorry i'm gonna try not to repeat myself so much um <laughs> anyway uh yeah so it's that and then it's just the fact that even though it's only been a little over a year i guess i don't know why i expected everyone to have these massive transformations but i guess i did but it was just it's weird how everything is the same and like i said once the ex that bit of excitement that spark of excitement of you coming home no one cares anymore i was like asking about people i would be for some reason i would be like surprised that they were still doing the same thing like oh she still works there oh they're still dating and it's not right of me this i don't i shouldn't expect everyone to change and completely evolve their life just because I'm coming back but for some reason you feel that way because you feel like you changed even if other people don't see it you feel like you've changed and so it's weird that nothing else has changed and it's a bit depressing and it's a bit sad and it's a bit and you feel lonely not that I'm saying their lives are depressing or their lives are sad or something wrong with their doing it's just how it made me feel and so I began to have this really mixed feeling of being here. On one hand, I was really, really happy to see everybody and be here. On the other hand, I just felt kind of sad for being here. And I just wanted to leave. And then I have this anxiety about leaving. And I, I, I think I always have anxiety about leaving somewhere. Like even when I go from Koba Yang to Ching Mai, I had anxiety about leaving. So it's like I have this little like I, I kind of wish I had like just one, maybe one more week to wrap it up. But I am definitely ready to get out. Um, but I am really grateful that I got to be here. I don't want to sound like I'm completely. I don't want to sound like I'm completely complaining um, about my trip. Because I'm not. I'm just expressing myself. Um, it was another thing too. Like there are like little bad habits that I did when I lived here that I can feel creeping back in, and I was almost disappointed that it easily it easily became another habit for me again. I mean, you when you felt like you changed, and so you ask yourself, maybe I didn't change as much as I thought I did. But I was aware, but I was aware of those habits, and so I was able to sort of turn it and be like, okay, why am I doing this? let me stop and things like changing my outfit three to five times because I was worried about my image and I was worried about what it looks like because I am in Los Angeles and I didn't want my friends to talk about my outfit or something and in Thailand I didn't care I didn't care about that and there's nothing wrong with being into fashion and care about what you look like and it's not like in Thailand I didn't care about what I looked like I did care what I looked like but me changing my outfit three to five times isn't be for me is for everyone else and so that's the bad thing is caring what I look like to, to please everyone else's everyone else not myself and I, I hate that I hated that like oh why am I doing this and that what I did when I was in Thailand or like feeling like I need makeup to walk out the door not I feel like I need makeup to walk out. Or feel like I need makeup to go to like a social event or something where I didn't necessarily feel that way in Thailand. As long as I had, as long as my 
skin was clear and I had good moisturizer I felt good I felt fine and so again it was that like that's the one negative thing about LA is that you do feel like you have to worry about your image a little bit more and even though I want to say that I'm, I'm beyond that and I've grown beyond that obviously I still got an issue with it and I hated that it's worrying about my weight and stuff like that like I hate that and I can feel it sort of creeping back in and since I've been here and then that whole like I don't know self doubt and stuff like that like I I didn't feel any of those things when I was away so then I naturally feel like I'm just happier when I'm not here than I am when I am here but I know just something I have to work on within myself I shouldn't it shouldn't matter where I am I shouldn't feel that way but I can feel it creeping in because that's what I was surrounded by um so yeah so it was that too so it just it ended up just having this really mixed, uncomfortable even feeling of being here. I didn't, I don't want and didn't want to leave here with the thought of like, Ugh, I wish I never came or that was a waste of time or anything like that. I want to leave and I do, I want to leave here and feeling good, feeling like refreshed and feeling happy I got to see my friends and feeling caught up and feeling like, okay, now it's time for a new chapter of my life. So. And I then just have all these confusing mixed feelings. I don't know why. Like I said, I'm completely grateful. This was a free trip that my friend sort of paid for or sponsored me. I haven't had to pay bills or rent or gas or food or anything. So this has been a really good trip. It's been amazing to catch up with my friends. It's been amazing to be in LA again. I love my friends. I love being here. I just, I can't brush off this whole feeling that I have of like, oh, I just want to leave again. <laughs> like, I feel a little suffocated. I kind of feel like my life is a little bit on pause and kind of feeling like I wish this trip was going a little bit different. I wish I could feel different about it, but I don't. I, like I said, I am happy that I came. I'm happy to see my friends. I love my friends, but I don't know. Like, maybe next time I come, I have to come and stay alone or be it on my own accord or have transportation or even just be more financially stable where I can go do more things on my own line here. I've kind of been at my friend's whim because I'm broke and I'm broke at the moment. So, because you gotta be careful what you say you put out there. So, you know, LA is an expensive place. So, maybe if things were just a bit different, I would have a different time. Or maybe my second time around, I will feel different about it. Maybe I need to get the whole first visit out of the way. I don't know. But I am glad I came. And hopefully, when I get back to Thailand, I'll look back on this and, and, and see more positive aspects of it of just this whole weird anxiety feeling about it. I don't know. But I'm glad I came. I think you say that. <laughs> I'm glad I came. I love everybody. I love LA. Thank you, thank you, thank you for my friend for letting me come here, for paying for my trip here. I had a good time, but I am ready to go back. I'm ready to get the fuck out and continue my travels or just continue being in Chiang Mai. I don't know. We'll see what I happen to do when I get out back over there. Um, anyways, that's it, guys. That's my little rant. That's my little therapy session. Thank you, guys. Um, so if you have any comments, feel free to comment below. If you have any of your own stories about going home after a long trip of traveling and your own experience, please, please share them. And maybe I can, it will help me sort out these, this mixed feeling that I have. Um, if you like this video, please like it. If you want to continue on this journey with me, please subscribe. Thank you again, guys, from Live, Love, Life, and Travel. Make you wanna move. Dancing